Hi there, what I'm going to show you today is how to crop a large image to a small square or an avatar which would be used on most web platforms such like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn etc. So all we're going to do is open the image then we're going to resize the image and then crop it to the size that we want it to be and we're going to save it I'm going to show you how to do those, those three or four different things. It's very straightforward. I'm using GIMP which is a free application. You can download that for most platforms instead of having to pay hundreds of pounds for any photo editing software. So this is a really straightforward process. There's only three or four different things we're going to do. So to just pay attention for a couple of minutes, we'll get through that. So we're going to open the image now. So it's File, Open, and we're going to use this image here for today's example. I'm going to keep the colour profile as it is. Now you'll see here, this is a large image. The reasons we can tell that are because of the dimensions here at the top, 2438 by 3723, and we're only viewing it at 18.2% at the moment. So what we want to do is reduce that to a 500 by 500 square, so we're going to reduce it some, uh, quite a bit. So the first thing we're going to do is resize the image. Now it's longer than it is wider, so what we'll do is we'll reduce the width to 500. So we're using the scale tool over here on the left hand side in the toolbox. Double click and then double click on the image. Brings up another a new dialog box for you called scale. Make sure this is this link is connected. That's what it looks like when it's unconnected and that's it connected now. And when you change the width it will automatically change the height and keep it keep them together for you. So 500 and you can see that automatically scales the image down. There's a little preview for you. Now we just scale that down. And it'll just take a second to do that. Okay, now you can see the image is much smaller, but the canvas here, this checkered area, has stayed the same size as the original image. So all we need to do is go to Image here on the menu, and we need to fit the canvas to layers. Okay, and it just reduces the canvas to the size of the, the only layer that's there, the, the image. Now we can increase the view to 100% at the bottom here and we can see a much better view and we can also see at the top here now the width is 500 and the length is 764 so we want to, we want to crop a square so we're going to use the crop tool which is over here on the left, it's a little, little, little knife shape double click on that and then we're going to drag an image onto, uh, drag a section onto the image here over on the left hand side we can customise that now. So I always put the position to 0 and 0 which moves the crop area into the top left hand corner and change the size to 500 and 500 and you can see that the area has gone to a square now, 500 by 500. The part that will be cropped away is the part in grey here and we'll keep the area in the lighter area here. So we can drag this section down now, so it's like a case of clicking and dragging the area down to here, about there, that's good. And then all we do is hit enter or return on the keyboard to remove the areas we don't want. And we're left with the area that we, that we like to keep. Now you can see at the top that we've got a 500 by 500 image. Now we want to save that image, so we'll just go to file, save as, and I'm just going to call that um, avatar and we're just going to put that onto the desktop and you can see that it's saved by JPEG so keep the keep the extension there and then we'll save export that as a JPEG and then keep the quality at 100% and save and that's you done that's how you create a 500 by 500 avatar thanks